at the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Be getting home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <coughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. my pledge to Leah and rescued Cain. All that stands between me and the mystery of the fallen star is the skeleton king, whose return has again darkened Tristram. I have journeyed far to find that the fallen star was only a man. Who is he? And why has he come? He remembers nothing. Perhaps Cain can tell us what the stranger cannot. Cain is dead. But his last act shed light on the truth. The stranger is an angel. And I must reunite him with his sword. forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. You cannot 
judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free. In her final desperate moments, Magda swore that the demon lord Belial would soon rule our world. I am all that stands between him and the end of mankind. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch Adria. She told us of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy evil forever. Of all mortals, I have been given the task of retrieving it. The Soul Stone is ours. Now we will use it to trap Belial, who hides cravenly behind the Emperor's guard. Soon, his lies will be revealed, and the people of Chaldeum will be free.
have. You, but not me. I defy you. I know the Black Soul Stone is the key, and it shall be mine. Soon my army shall pour forth from the Shattered Mountain, ravaging this world and all hope of resistance. My minions will find the stone, wherever you choose to hide it. Then, at long last, Asmodan shall reign as the prime evil. Chaldeum is free from Belial and his deception. Only Asmodan remains. He sends his army forth to strike at us from the heart of Ariad Crater. Bastion's Keep is all that stands between us and certain doom. I will not allow it to fall. Bastion's Keep has been saved. Enough fighting within walls. I will now take the fight to Asmodan's war machines upon the open fields. The Demon Gate has been shattered and the way to Asmodan is now open. He has brought Hell itself into the crater, powering his legions with vile sin hearts. I will destroy them and bring the Lord of Sin to justice.
betrayal is complete and Leah's soul is lost. Through her, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil with all the powers of hell at his command. The high heavens tremble. The angels are helpless before Diablo's assault. Only I remain to set things right and vanquish Diablo's evil forever. Diablo sought to crush heaven with despair, but I have defeated his champion and restored hope. I believed Tyrael's faith would be restored as well, but he remains lost. Regardless, I will now shatter Diablo's infernal portals. Diablo seeks to corrupt the Crystal Arch atop the Silver Spire. If he succeeds, heaven will fall. Everything has led to this moment. Tyrion and I will fight our way to the top, where I will finally confront Diablo. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prying evil forever. champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. place among you once again but this time as a mortal since justice has been met this day I will now stand as wisdom on behalf of those who risked all to save us Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Diablo was defeated. For a time, it seemed we would know peace. But it was not to be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone. Nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden. Even from the angels. I pray that it will be Enough. service here is finished, and you should all run. Malfail.
why? you know about the sacrifice? Serial! The ancient law of the High Heaven strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice, while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! Now answer for your transgressions! You cannot judge me! I am justice itself! We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. Tristram is safe, but that is only the beginning. The great eastern city of Chaldean has fallen under the sway of Belial, a lord of hell. I'd like to have words with him. As she died, Magda swore Belial would rule all. I will not let that happen.
we rescued Leah's mother, Adria. She told us about the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could banish evil forever. I must find it. The Soul Stone is ours. We will defeat the Imperial Guard and trap Belial in the stone. By this time tomorrow, Chaldeum will be free. Chaldeum is free of Belial and his lies. Yet Asmadan remains. With his armies staged in Ariat Crater, the ancient bulwark of Bastion's Keep is all that keeps him in check. I will not let that mighty fortress fall. Bastion's keep stands tall. Now I go to the battlefield, where Asmodan's war machines bombard our scattered soldiers. The demon gate is shattered, and the armies of hell await, empowered by vile sin hearts. I will slay them all, until only the Lord of Sin remains, and then, I will slay him too. Evil 
even in the heart of heaven. Angels can still feel fear. Adria has betrayed us, and now Leah is lost. From her body, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. The power of hell answers his call, and the heavens buckle under the weight of corruption. I will purge this evil forever. Diablo brought despair to the halls of heaven, but hope is restored. I thought this would bring Tyriel back to us, but there is no sign of him. I must press on and destroy Diablo's infernal portals alone. Diablo means to corrupt the Crystal Arch atop the Silver Spire. If he succeeds, the High Heavens will be lost forever. Tyriel and I go to face the Lord of Terror himself. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. Champion, the Nephilim, 
rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. place among you once again but this time as a mortal since justice has been met this day I will now stand as wisdom on behalf of those who risked all to save us Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Diablo was defeated. For a time, it seemed, we would know peace, but it was not to be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Well, Horadrum, your service here is finished, and you should all.
Screams draw me to the city of Westmarch, where angels slaughter helpless people in the streets. Who sent these reapers, and why? I will learn the answers, but first, I will end this massacre, and teach them to fear the Crusade. Urzael and the Reapers are dead. Now the people of Westmarch can begin to rebuild their city and their lives. Lorath and I depart for the Blood March to confront Adria. She knows how to find Maltheol, but more importantly, there is a blood debt between us, and she will pay it. Maltheol tried to keep me from entering Pandemonium. I must be moving faster than he anticipated. Now, I will cross this wilderness, past the wreckage of countless battles between angel and demon. Somewhere out there is the Pandemonium Fortress, where the Angel of Death waits for me. Nephilim, the Black Soul Stone journeys through the portal to Sanctuary. Even now it spreads death across your world. have done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a crusader who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist, or will he be our doom? shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. translations are correct <coughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move the world must be told of the coming darkness you do believe me don't you Leah you 
It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. creatures of hell. They saw in me the strength to resist the demons. And they forged me into a weapon. Now, I am ready. A meteor has fallen in Tristram. And the dead have risen in its wake. I will send them back to their graves. Once I was hunted. Now I am the hunter. I promised Leah that I would save her uncle, Deckard Cain. When I found him, he was facing the Skeleton King. And now, this abomination blocks my path to the Fallen Star. I ventured far to find the power behind the Fallen Star. But it was only a man. He can recall nothing of his strange arrival. Perhaps Cain will be able to find the truth of this matter. Deckard Cain sacrificed himself to shed light on the truth. The sword is an angel's. I must bring it to him. strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice, while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother.
Because humanity is the only hope for this world. Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldeum. The great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell. Belial. I mean to set the city free. As her life was slipping away. Magda claimed that the demon lord Belial would reign over our world. I will die before I let such a dark fate come to pass. I have reunited Leah with her mother, the witch Adria. She spoke to us about the Black Soul Stone. An artifact that could permanently destroy the Lords of Hell. I must find it, at any cost. The Soul Stone is ours at last. We need only find Belial and trap him within it. He cannot hide behind the Imperial Guard forever. And when he is gone, Chaldeum will be free. Will find the stone. Let every 
choose to hide it. Then, at long last, Osmodan <laughs> shall reign as the prime evil. between us and utter defeat. I will not allow it to fall. I have secured Bastion's keep, but the final battle is still waiting for me on the fields, where Asmodan's war machines are closing in. We have destroyed the Demon Gate. Though Asmodan brought hell itself in his wake. Slaying the Sin Hearts will weaken his forces, and then only the Lord of Sin himself will be left. Daughter. 
Leo was used as a host for Diablo's rebirth as the prime evil. Now, all the power of hell answers to him alone. The high heavens themselves break under his assault. For the angels cannot withstand the depth of his corruption. Only I can. Diablo nearly crushed the heavens by driving despair into the angels' hearts. But now, I have restored hope to them. And yet Tyriel remains lost among the chaos. I fear for him. But I must go on to destroy Diablo's hell portals. Diablo moves to corrupt the Crystal Arch on the Silver Spire. Should he succeed, the heavens will be lost forever. This is our final chance. Tyriel and I must reach the top of the Spire and confront the Lord of Terror. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. My brethren, I will take my place among you, once again. But this time, as a mortal. Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as wisdom. On behalf of those who risked all to save us. Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Diablo was defeated. For a time, it seemed, we would know peace, but it was not to be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Done well, Horadrum. Your service here is finished, and you should all.
March, where angels lay waste to the city. They stalk the streets, killing all they find. But why? Some dark purpose drives this slaughter. I will find out what it is and purge these reapers from West March, the kingdom I once called home. Urzel and his Reapers are dead. The people of Westmarch have been avenged, and now they can begin to rebuild. But Adria still lives. Lorath and I will journey to the Blood Marsh to find her. She can locate Malthiel, and once we know where he is, she must die. Malthiel tried to keep me from entering Pandemonium. He is not ready to face me yet. Now, I must fight through these ancient battlefields, where angels and demons have battled for eons. At the heart of this realm lies the Pandemonium Fortress and the Angel of Death. had done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a demon hunter who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist, or will he be our doom? shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity.
my god. It was nothing, Uncle. Just a bad dream. We should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle! It's not important! in all things and everywhere I see signs of change the wind bears an unnatural chill and my people grow uneasy now fire burns the sky and scorches the vault of the heavens I must carry out the will of the Patriarchs. When they need to see, I am their eyes. Where they wish to strike, I am their fist. When they would ignite the light of truth, I am their torch. They have sent me to where the heavenly fire has fallen. My mind is clear. I will rid Tristram of the shambling corpses that have risen in the fire's wake. I have kept my word and rescued Leah's uncle, Decker Cain. I saved him from a creature called the Skeleton King, who now bars my way to the Fallen Star. The long road the gods set me upon has led here to the truth that the fallen star is a man. He knows nothing of who he is or where he came from. Perhaps Cain will know the truth. Deckard Cain gave his life to reveal the truth about the stranger. The sword from the sky belonged to an angel. I must reunite him with his sword. forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice, while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. I 
not judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. You chose to be one of us. Sacrilege. Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free. Even as she drew her last breath, Magda swore that her master the demon lord Belial would rule our world. That will not come to pass while I still live. We rescued Leia's mother, the witch Adria. She told us of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy the last lords of hell. I will find it, and God's willing, we will use it in our fight. I hold the soul stone within my grasp. It will be a prison for Belial, who cowers behind the might of the Imperial Guard. I will reveal his lies and set Chaldeum free.
trap. But not me. I defy you. I know the Black Soul Stone is the key. And it shall be mine. Soon my army shall pour forth from the shattered mountain. Ravaging this world and all hope of resistance. My minions will find the stone. Wherever you choose to hide it. Then, at long last, Asmodan <laughs> shall reign as the prime evil. Chaldean is free from Belial and his deception. Only Asmadan remains. He sends his army forth to strike at us from the heart of Ariad Crater. Bastion's Keep is all that stands between us and certain doom. I will not allow it to fall. Bastion's Keep is secure enough for me to enter the true battlefield, where Asmodan's war machines rain death upon the scattered defenders. I have destroyed the demon gate through which Asmodan brought hell itself. Now I will enter the crater and crush the sin hearts that empower his army until only the Lord of Sin himself remains.
Adria has betrayed us and taken the life of her own daughter. From Leia's body, Diablo is reborn as the prime evil. And he commands all the powers of hell. The high heavens quake under his assault. And the angels are in retreat. The gods forged me for this. I will slay the Lord of Terror. For all gods and men. Diablo has crushed the will of the heavens and driven despair into the hearts of the angels. But I have restored hope to them. I have seen no sign of Tyrio in the chaos. I must go on without him and destroy Diablo's hell portals. Diablo will corrupt the crystal arch high atop the silver spire. I must stop him or heaven will be lost forever. This is our last hope. Tyrael and I will ascend the spire and face the Lord of Terror, no matter what stands in our way. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prying evil forever. champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. place among you once again but this time as a mortal since justice has been met this day I will now stand as wisdom on behalf of those who risked all to save us Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Well, Horadrum, your service here is finished, and you should all.
fail. heard stories of angels descending upon the city of Westmarch, slaughtering man, woman, and child. But to what end? The city's defenders were powerless to stop them. But now, I have come. And I will protect all who can be saved. I have killed Urzael and destroyed the Reapers. The people of Westmarch can begin to rebuild. Lorath and I now go to the Blood Marsh. Adria is there, and she knows how to find Maldiel. Once she tells me where he is, I will end her life. Malthiel tried to keep me from pandemonium. As I draw closer to him, he grows worried. I will cross the ancient battleground of the angels and demons, where they have fought since the dawn of time, to the pandemonium fortress at its heart, where the angel of death waits. in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a monk who protects the innocent. 
but within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist, or will he be our doom? shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <coughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. beyond imaginings, far from the jungles of my youth. My knowledge has grown vast. The people, they think me banished, shunned to the end of my days. They say I defy the spirits, but I say no. Follow them. The spirits show me alone that the sky fire is where the end begins. They say this must not be. I live to serve the spirits. So I go. There is none but me to answer the call. I kept my word to Leah and rescued her uncle Cain. I pulled him from the clutches of the skeleton king, who still holds the fallen star. For all the mysteries yet to be solved, I now learn that the fallen star is a man. He remembers little of himself. I will bring him to Deckard Cain. Perhaps then he will have some answers. Deckard Cain sacrificed much to tell us the truth. The stranger is an angel, a powerful being. 
I must bring him his sword immediately. forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice, while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. Tristram is safe. I go now to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I will set the city free. As the life drained from Magda's broken form, she swore that her master, the demon lord Belial, would rule our world. I will not let this come to pass. We rescued Leah's mother, the witch Adria. She spoke of a black soul stone, an artifact that could be used to banish all evil from this world. I will find it and bring it back to her. I can feel dark power emanating from the soul stone, but it will hold Belial once I have dragged him from the shadows and revealed his lies. Chaldeum will be free.
this makes any sense to me. What am I missing, Uncle? What am I supposed to see? is no more, and Caldeum can thrive once again. I now hunt Asmodan. Leah has seen visions of his armies marching from Ariad Crater. Only the ancient fortress of Bastion's Keep bars their way. But without me, it will fall. I have secured Bastion's Keep. Now I must go to join the battle in the fields below, where Asmadan's war machines wait. The Demon Gate is no more. Though Asmadan has brought hell itself through it, now I must destroy the Sinhards so that his armies will falter. Then only Asmadan will remain.
And Leah's soul now lives in Imbuliro Ikura. From her body, Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. With all the powers of hell within him. The high heavens themselves tremble with his steps. And the angels can do nothing. Now hope lies with me. Only I can stop him. Diablo nearly brought ruin to the heavens as despair bled into the angels' hearts. But now I have restored hope and rallied them. Tyriel is still lost in the devastation. Now alone, I must go to destroy Diablo's hell portals. Diablo seeks to corrupt the crystal arch that stands atop the silver spire. If I let this come to pass, the heavens are lost. Tyrael and I must reach the arch and stop the Lord of Terror before it is too late. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prying evil forever. as a mortal. Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as wisdom. On behalf of those who risked all to save us. Forevermore, we shall stand together. Angels, and men in the light of this glorious new dawn. Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone. 
nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Well, Horadrum, your service here is finished, and you should all. angels who have come to Westmarch, murdering all who reside within the city's walls. I will find the truth of why they have come, but first I will strike these reapers down so the dead may find peace in the unformed land. Urzael and his reapers are dead. Westmarch is safe, and its people can finally begin to rebuild. Lorath and I now go to find Adria in the Blood Marsh. She knows the way to find Maltiel, and after she tells me, I will end her life. Maltael tried to destroy the way to Pandemonium. He knows that I am coming for him. I will cross the broken land over which Angel and Demon have fought wars beyond counting. To the Pandemonium Fortress, where the Angel of Death waits, hiding behind its walls.
the Nephilim had done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a witch doctor who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist or will he be our doom? And at the end of days, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <coughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. Fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard Cain. Now, 
All that stands between me and the Fallen Star is the Skeleton King, who has returned to darken Tristram once again. I have traveled far, only to find that the Fallen Star was a man. Who is he? Why has he come? He recalls nothing, but Cain may have the answers. Deckard Cain is dead, but he died revealing the truth. The stranger is an angel. I must return his sword to him at all costs. forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice, while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. that Tristram is safe. I travel to Chaldeum, the great city of the East. It has fallen before one of the last lords of hell, Belial. I mean to set the city free. In her final miserable moments, Magda swore that the demon lord Belial would soon rule this world. You'll have to defeat me first. 
We rescued Leah's mother, the witch, Adria. She revealed to us the existence of the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could destroy all evil forever. Of all mortals, I have been given the task of retrieving it. The Soul Stone has been recovered. Now, we will use it to trap Belial, who cowers behind the Emperor's guard. Soon, his deceit will be revealed, and the people of Chaldeum shall be free. is free from Belial and his lies. Now, only Asmodan remains. He sends his army to attack us from the heart of Ariat Crater. Bastion's keep is all that stands between us and utter defeat. I will not allow it to fall. I have saved Bastion's Keep. It is time to leave the confines of the Keep and take the fight to Asmodan's war machines upon the open fields. The Demon Gate lies in ruins while Asmodan has brought Hell itself into the crater. 
I will destroy the sin hearts that bring unholy life to his armies, and then face the Lord of Sin himself. Diablo has been reborn as the prime evil. All the powers of hell are his to command. The high heavens tremble, and the angels are helpless before Diablo's assault. Only I remain to set things right and rid the world of Diablo's evil forever. Diablo sought to bring despair down upon heaven, but I have destroyed his champion and restored hope. I thought this would bring Tyriel back to his senses, but he remains lost. Nevertheless, I must push on and eradicate Diablo's hellish portals. Diablo will corrupt the crystal arch atop the silver spire, unless he is stopped. Should he succeed, heaven will fall. Everything has led to this moment. Tyriel and I will fight our way to the summit, where I will finally face Diablo. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever.
A new day breaks for both angels and men. For mankind's greatest champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. My brethren, I will take my place among you once again. But this time, as a mortal. Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as wisdom. On behalf of those who risked all to save us. Forevermore, we shall stand together. Angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Diablo was defeated. For a time it seemed we would know peace. But it was not to be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone. Nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden. Even from the angels. I pray that it will be Enough. Done well, Horadrum. Your service here is finished, and you should all. Stop. 
demons are everywhere. Angels stalk the city of Westmarch, killing everyone. Strong and weak, noble and commoner alike. I do not know what these angels want, and I do not care. These reapers think that no one can stand against them. I will show them the error of their beliefs, and remind them that they should fear me. I have delivered the city of Westmarch from Urzale and his Reapers. The people are now free to rebuild their homes and their lives. Lorath and I depart for the Blood March to find Adria. She, of all people, knows how to locate Malthiel. I will take great joy in extracting that information before I kill her. Malthael's attempt to keep me from entering Pandemonium simply confirms that he is still unwilling to face me. Now I must cross the Blighted Wasteland, site of a thousand battles between Angel and Demon. The Angel of Death awaits me in the Pandemonium Fortress on the other side. He will not be waiting long. Stone journeys through the portal to sanctuary. Even now it spreads death across your world. And so ends the eternal conflict. Nephilim have done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a wizard who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist, or will he 